Hi right, guys. Well, it can't decide whether it wants to be a rainy night or a beautiful spring night. And on this Monday evening, uh, I guess tomorrow is the last day of winter, not today. Uh, so we are still clinging to winter. And on this lovely Monday, March 18, 2024, uh, here in the End Times and Doomsday trailer. Since it is a Monday night, good Lord, I guess uh, still Monday night, yes. Uh, it is time for our weekly Dump the Trump DI Roundup, where we go get all of the little Trump Tards panties in a wad, and uh, of, of course, guys, uh, the, 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 this headline, which uh, 5,000 different versions of this, which I'm not going to waste too much time on. This is NBC News. <coughs> Trump says there will be a bloodbath if he loses the election, and and finally, Donald Trump speaks the truth. Uh, now, of course, this whole comment about there being a bloodbath uh, if he loses is being completely taken out of context by, uh, by, by the media pissing all over themselves to take this one little comment completely out of context but what's so great about Donald Trump is that you take a, you know, one of his hyperbolic uh, bullshit comments out of context, and that's what makes it true. That is exactly what there is going to be if Donald Trump loses this election. There will be a bloodbath. People will die. I, well, uh, we're, we're not going to put it to the test because Donald Trump uh, is not going to lose the election. So the bloodbath is mostly going to be, uh, you know, our fellow earthlings, you know, such as gray wolves, you know, little, little wolf pups being poisoned and gassed in their dens. Same with, uh, you know, baby bears, uh, what not. Uh, so there, there will, it will be a bigger human bloodbath uh, if he loses, but there will be plenty of blood on, uh, on Donald Trump's hands. These people, and I actually know people who act like they are animal lovers. And, and, and voting uh, for, for this guy. If, if Donald Trump had his way, he would personally put a bullet through every wolf uh, and every bear's head uh, in the country and on the planet. He is a walking, ecocidal uh, maniac. So, yes, there will be a bloodbath uh, if he loses or wins, but, uh, you know, it is kind of embarrassing to see the media taking that um, totally out of context. So, we're going to play a, a clip from the fake news network uh, CNN, those lefties over uh, at CNN who are taking a rare departure instead of surveying lefties, you, you, you know, Biden supporters, probably because they could not find one person who supports Joe Biden to interview. So what this is, is a, I like this, this is two minutes long. Not sure who the reporter is here. Uh, titled, See Ever-Expanding List 
of former Trump officials who refuse to endorse him. So these are all Republicans who uh, actually worked uh, for Donald Trump and why they're absolutely refusing to endorse the guy. This is me, the professional uh, Luddite. Take it away, CNN. And now there's no sound. Making. Finally, he is saying out loud that Trump cannot be given the keys to the Oval Office. This is Office Mike again. Pence, of course. It should come as no surprise that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. I cannot in good conscience uh, endorse Donald Trump in this campaign. You can now add Pence to the ever-expanding list of former Donald Trump officials who say that the former president should not ever step foot in the White House again. Just let that sink in. This is a list that is quite long at this point. Among them, his former attorney general, Bill Barr. You know, it's like a nine-year-old, a defiant nine-year-old kid who's always pushing the glass toward the edge of the table, defying his parents to stop him from doing it. His former national security advisor, John Bolton. Between Biden and Trump, there was no conservative on the ballot. So I wrote in the name of a, of a conservative, and I would do the same in 2024. His other former national security advisor, H.R. McMaster. I think it would be terribly divisive for our country for him to, for him to run again. The former Trump defense secretary, Mark Esper. Do you think Trump can be trusted with the nation's secrets ever again? No. I mean, it's, it's just irresponsible action that places uh, our service members at risk, places our nation's security at risk. The other former Trump defense secretary, Jim Mattis, he said that Trump fomented an insurrection. The former Trump chief of staff, John Kelly, who says Trump has no idea what America stands for. His former acting chief of staff, Mick Mulvaney. I quit because I think he, he failed at being the president when we needed him to be that. And his former Joint Chiefs chairman, Mark Milley. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. And there are others, quite a few more, in fact. Yes, quite a few more, in fact. This is, uh, but you know, good, good, really, uh, all joking aside, good for Mike Pence for coming out and, and calling out that fat motherfucker. And uh, don't get me wrong, uh, I have about as much respect for Mike Pence as I do Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Uh, okay, but good for uh, Mike Pence uh, telling that fat ass motherfucker to go fuck himself. Uh, anyway, who is this? Republican Bill Cassidy derides Trump and calls 2024 race a quote, sorry state of affairs, which is exactly what it is. Uh, in an interview on NBC, uh, Cassidy expect his disapproval for Trump's hostile rhetoric towards migrants, saying that it had reflected poorly in terms of regarding folks who are coming here illegally and they should not be, and they shouldn't be, but in a dehumanizing fashion. Uh, I say... I say the best thing going for Donald Trump running for president is that he is running against Joe Biden, about whom many people also have reservations. And frankly, that's why people are considering third parties. It is a sorry state of affairs. Exactly what it would be. So, uh, of course, the lefties over at The Guardian talking about a campaign for vengeance. Critics warn of a radical second Trump 
term, that's exactly what it is, is a campaign of vengeance. <clears throat> the U.S. election primary season is, in effect, over. Yes. Uh, let's see. So what do we uh, have to look forward to in a second Donald Trump term? According to The Guardian, detention camps mass deportations, capital punishment for drug smugglers, tariffs on imported goods such as tequila, a purge of the Justice Department, and potential withdrawal from NATO. The Trump policy agenda is radical by any standard, including his own. Yes pushing the boundaries set during his first presidential run eight years ago. Uh, yep. Flash forward to 2024, and we are getting a much dark, darker version of Donald Trump, one who seems to be driven by imaginary grievances from the 2020 election. There is nothing unifying about that message in any way. It is incredibly self-centered. This is a campaign for vengeance. In a lot of ways, he is Ahab and Moby, and Moby Dick is the United States of America. That, of course, is Democratic strategist Kurt Bardella joining his Republicans in their view of Donald Trump. Damn it, I keep forgetting to put on my Donald Trump hat for this rap. But you see, th this is almost as big a story as the bloodbath meme this week from USA Today. Trump keeps praising dictators like Hitler and Kim Jong-un. Will Republicans ever give a fuck? And the answer is no. Republicans do not give a fuck that uh, this little Hitler uh, wannabe dictator praising Hitler and that little guy over there. and uh, uh, they, they don't care. Okay, they, it, it, it makes no difference. There is nothing that Donald Trump could say or do to dissuade his cult members with uh, his dick in their mouths. Anyway, USA Today, <clears throat> it's bizarre that we have to say this out loud, but apparently it still needs to be said. Adolf Hitler was an evil man who orchestrated the worst genocide in modern history. His regime killed six million Jewish people and hundreds of thousands of Romani people, I think does, is that gypsies, and people with disabilities. There is no redemption arc for Hitler. We all agree on that, right? And yet, Donald Trump does not seem to realize that. The former president was put on blast by former chief of staff John Kelly, who recently told CNN that Trump, and, that Trump said Hitler did some good things. Yes, uh, <laughs> Hitler did love his dog, I hear. Okay, it would, uh, you have to go on Facebook to see this because it would be nice if in the article they had a picture of this billboard, but actually this, well, I think it's a woman, has several of these billboards. This is her latest, Dictator Diaper Dawn. Phoenix billboard known for anti-Trump imagery debuts newest artwork. Artwork opposing Donald Trump was once again installed on a Phoenix billboard on Saturday. Pre
previously the billboard had gone viral after Trump's 2016 win. Uh, the 40 foot wide billboard at Grand and 11th Avenue showcases three diaper clad babies with Trump's face seated around a Confederate flag cake and a banner reading Happy January 6th. On one side of the cake there is a bucket of Hitler fried chicken while on the other side one baby can be seen lighting the Constitution on fire and another is wearing a onesie with Putin's mini me printed in bold letters. Uh, quote, this wannabe dictator is clearly an unhinged baby, Los Angeles artist Karen Fiorotto wrote in a statement on Facebook. Uh, this is not the first time Donald Trump has been compared to an infant, but anyway, if you can, uh, you can go see her, her uh, Trump artwork. It's pretty good. I should probably get one of her t-shirts. This one uh, from the New York Times, this long article, isn't so much about Donald Trump, but it's about Trump tards. And th th this real weird, it's titled Piety and Profanity. The raunchy Christians are here. And uh, 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 again, this is, well, it is all about Trump, about how under Donald Trump that the very concept of what used to be a, quote, evangelical Christian, you, you, you know, like you, you would think of Billy Graham. <coughs> but now all of these people uh, and, and, and on one hand, I'm okay, okay with this, is, is these people, they, they call themselves Christians and, and are praising Donald Trump, uh, blah, 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 and, and, and they're fucking mouths. Uh, they're, they're, they're just God, you know, just goddamn fucking, uh, you, you know, shit, piss, cunt, fuck, cock-sucking, motherfucking, uh, tit, uh, Trump tards. That apparently Donald Trump has given uh, the, the, these great uh, Christians uh, just free reign. Uh, you, you know, they, they, they look at one of these, this woman is some kind of hooker, some kind of sex worker, whatever, uh, parading around uh, all, all of these uh, these little Christian Christians for Trump. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the New York Times had some fun with that. About when you hear evangelical Christians for Donald Trump, uh, he, he, you know, you wonder how many of them... Uh, uh, you know, would like to get a golden shower from Donald Trump, their their gilded lord. Anyway, enough of those fucking. Uh, so what is all of this? I guess he stirred up a bunch of shit talking about them, them migrants. Trump faced backlash for saying some immigrants who come to the U.S. are not people, but animals. Uh, there you go. Uh, well, I mean, uh, well, Sancho Pons is not exactly a, a a migrant, although Donald Trump, you know, because Sancho came from Saint Croix. And, of course, Donald Trump uh, does not realize that he is the president of St. Croix. <laughs> uh, God, after what was it, that Hurricane Maria, when uh, Trump was saying, I just got off the phone with the president of, uh, 
with the president of St. Croix when Donald Trump is the president of St. Croix. You know, this guy, uh, if it wasn't so tragic, uh, what's this latest uh, Trump's uh, bizarre Clinton conspiracy is a total acid trip. Do Donald Trump's unfounded new claim that Hil Hillary Clinton used acid to delete her email shows the former president does not quite grasp how the bleach bit software program works. This is Donald Trump. Uh, probably sounding a lot like me, I, I have a little bit of, uh, I have a little bit of compassion for Donald Trump here. Quote, they released Hillary Clinton. She hammered her phones. She used all sorts of acid testing and everything else. They call it bleach bit, but it is essentially acid that will destroy everything within 10 miles. I mean, what she did was unbelievable. Nothing happens to her. <laughs> so I guess uh, what Bleach Bit is, uh, is a software program to delete emails. It is not acid and it's not bleach. The whole thing is so stupid, and he is so stupid, and I am sick of his stupidity, quoting somebody. Uh, and then speaking of compassion, this thing from Sandra Pawula at Medium.com today, I'm, uh, I'm giving uh, Richard Lowenthal a, a rest, asking the question, is Trump worthy of compassion? And the, the uh, answer is, is, is no. Uh, uh, compassion. Uh, the guy is, uh, you know, uh, I can you be feel compassion for Donald Trump. Uh, I, I, I just, there really aren't that many people, uh, I mean specific individuals. I, I, I do wish every human on the planet, including myself and everybody I know, would just go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. But, but you know, there's very few specific individuals that I wish would would uh, go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow. And Donald Trump uh, leads the list, as I comment at the end of this story, is that my only hope for uh, Donald Trump is at this point is that Ronald McDonald and Colonel Sanders uh, take his ass out, and that way, you know, he will die with a smile on his lips, but uh, I do like the beginning of this, is Trump worthy of compassion by Sandri, Sandra Pawula, and I think she's <clears throat> referencing the same article that I was reading from last week, but I don't think I got to this part of the long article. <clears throat> this is a talking about a fellow named Dr. John Gartner. Dr. John Gartner believes Donald Trump suffers from dementia. A psychologist and former professor at Johns Hopkins University Medical School, Gar Gartner shared his opinion in a recent Salon article. Uh, as I say, I hope I didn't read this out loud. Uh, Last week, this was part of that uh, part of this article. Take it away, uh, psychologist uh, John Gartner. 
not enough people are sounding the alarm that based on his behavior, and in my opinion, Donald Trump is dangerously demented. Gartner bases his assessment in part on Trump's use of phonemic paraphasias, which can be a sign of moderate to severe Alzheimer's. I thought they were, what, were, what was that famous one, Kofefe? where he came up one time in a tweet using the word, how did he spell it, C-O-V-F-E-F-E, -E. was that it? Anyway, no, no one have any fucking idea what it means. Uh, Gartner explains, quote, phonemic paraphasias, the substitution of non-words for words that sound similar are not normally seen until a patient enters the moderate to severe stages of Alzheimer's. Some examples of Trump's non-words, you know, besides kafefe, beneficiaries becomes beneficies, renovations becomes Renaverse, pivotal becomes pivotal, Obama became Obama, missiles became mishes, Christmas became Chrysus, bipartisan became bipars. Uh, and then, of course, uh, what a potential downfall for someone who prides himself on his status as a celebrity tycoon and one-time world leader. If you've seen clips of any of Trump's recent campaign speeches, the mistakes are painfully uh, obvious. Uh, the crowd at a recent Virginia rally went silent when Trump confused Barack Obama for Joe Biden for the third time in six months. Even Trump's most ardent supporters have noticed something is amiss. Anyway, can you be compassionate for Donald Trump? Uh, Donald Trump, you know, he is a sociopath. Uh, he is a psychopath and a sociopath. He has no feelings of compassion or empathy. He, he does not have the ability to uh, feel empathy. Now, he can feel victimized he can feel sorry for himself, victimized, sorry for himself. He can feel enraged, uh, all about him, whenever it's all about himself because he's a narcissist. Uh, so he, he can feel somewhat of a range of emotions, but they're all about himself that the man had, he, he, he has no concept of compassion uh, for uh, other humans, uh, animals, whatever. There is one human being on this planet that Donald Trump gives a flying fuck about, and it is Donald Trump. Uh, he does not know the meaning of compassion. Uh, if, uh, you know, she asked in here, you know, what if you found out that Donald Trump had some horrible disease? You know, I mean, one of these really horrible ones, like Lou Gehrig's disease, I would, I would think it was the greatest fucking news. I, I, I want that motherfucker to suffer. I, 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 want, I, I, I want the motherfucker in prison. I want that fat-ass motherfucker financially ruined. 
I, I, I obviously, uh, I want him to lose the election, which isn't going to happen. I, I want him to suffer the agony of defeat. Um, I want him in prison. I want him to develop some horrible, I, I mean, the most horrible uh, physical affliction. Uh, I want him, uh, I, I don't really want him to go to sleep tonight and just not wake up. I want him to die a lingering, horrible, painful death. Uh, I, I want him to suffer uh, uh, physical, mental, spiritual anguish, uh, and then once he is dead, uh, I want him to burn in hell for eternity. So that is my answer. But, uh, Anyway, I'm going to wrap up uh, this week's uh, Dump the Trump the Eye Roundup. And, uh, and try to avoid that fat ass motherfucker uh, till about Sunday. You know, it's already, you know, when I did this rant uh, the last time around, I managed to do it for about six weeks before I just, and I'm already hitting the point again, that I can't tolerate. I, I, I can't tolerate seeing that fat ass motherfucker's face. I don't want to hear his fucking gangster voice. Uh, the, the, the guy offends me on every single level. Uh, he is just, uh, just, just, he epitomizes everything I despise uh, about humanity, is encapsulated. E every single thing that I rant about is encapsulated in, 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 in that goddamn fat ass motherfucker. Anyway, but he will be our new president, and we can thank Joe Biden for that. Anyway, you don't have to hear about Donald Trump for another week, little dog. Bye, guys.